I know you read the title of today's video and you think I'm gonna attack you. Maybe, but probably not because in today's video, cheap does not have a negative connotation. In today's video, I'm actually going to say some cheap products that look expensive. They are dupes of these luxury products. You're getting the exact same look and feel, but you're getting them without breaking the bank. I promise you this is a video you're not gonna wanna miss but because we're talking about everything. Bedding and beds and rugs and we're running the gamut when it comes to home decor. So let's just get into today's video. The first category I wanna chat about today is the sofa. So there are lots of different sofas, but we're gonna talk about the plush sofa from Value City Furniture Room. If you've been here since day one, you know about the sofa. If not, subscribe, and it'll be like you've been here since day one, because I'd love to have you. But this is the sofa that I'm sitting on right now. I have two of these sofas, and they are dupes of the Restoration Hardware Cloud Sofa. And I'm gonna tell you why they are cheap, but look kind of expensive. So in terms of pricing, they're about $1,300. Is that a, you know, a trivial sum of money? No, of course not. But compared to the $5,600 price tag, of the cloud sofa this one is starting to look pretty nice to you isn't it i'm sure it is so it is eight feet long it is almost four feet wide and it has down filled cushions so that you get that really nice fluffy cloud look um, when you're not sitting on it and when you're looking at it from afar up close it looks like a deflated trash bag <laughs> you fluff it and you know i gotta be honest with you about that but the cloud look has been so popular but you're like hmm do i buy the real thing or do i buy the dupe so i'm endorsing the dupe because you get the same look now it actually comes in a performance fabric. If you're not sure what a performance fabric is, that's basically a fabric where you can um, spill wine or juice or bodily fluids on it and you can actually get it out of the fabric. It doesn't stain, right? So it's durable if you have kids or pets or if you just like really like to eat in front of the TV and you get a little bit too into like Friday night. I don't know what sport comes on Friday night. I was gonna say Friday night football, but I'm pretty sure that's on Sundays. Um, but whatever it is you're doing, you can spill something and get it out of that sofa. The reason why I think this looks expensive is because it looks quite literally the same. <laughs> that is it. It looks the same as the expensive product, therefore it looks expensive, and you get the exact same look for less. Now the reason why I think you should get the dupe instead of the real thing is that it's a trendy sofa. It's a very trendy sofa, like the Mario Bellini sofa. It is trendy, it's in now, it's probably not gonna be in a, few, in a few years. This is not an evergreen sofa. It's not a sofa you're going to have forever. So I'd rather you spend a, a smaller amount of money on this and save your money so that when the next trend comes along and you want to buy into it, you have the funds to do so and you haven't wasted 4,000 extra of your dollars. Now, do you have to buy into trends at all? No, but you're here and you know this video is about what it's about. So if you're mad about it, such is life. So the next cheap item that looks expensive is this pillow cover by Coterie Brooklyn. So I believe it is $48. And you're like, $48 for a pillow cover? I can sew my own for Joanne. Guys, I'm into sewing now, so just you wait. But yes, it is $48. It's still expensive, right? Because I think my pillows should be free. Um, I think everything should be free. Um, but they are $48, but as opposed to the 289 pillows for Restoration Hardware, I think that this is a really good option. Now, I'm talking badly about this pillow from Restoration Hardware. I'm talking badly about the price tag, but do I own four of those pillows? Yes, I do. Did I order them behind my spouse's back? I sure did. But we both love them and the dog loves them. So that is the most important thing. But you're getting the exact same look for less. Now, when it comes to pillow covers, you might be like, oh, is it worth the splurge? I'll be honest, sometimes yes. You get a better fabric that doesn't fray. You get higher quality zippers, right? Because you know, sometimes with zippers, you know, things get stuck, the fabric gets stuck, and you just kind of have like pillows sticking out of the bottom of the pillow, and you're just trying to like get everyone to ignore it, but you just want the pillow to fit inside the pillow cover. We've all been there. What you also get with more expensive pillow covers is that they hold their shape. So you don't have to double stuff them because the fabric itself has so much shape that you don't have to spend extra money on that pillow insert. The reason that this pillow looks expensive is not because it looks like something from Restoration Hardware because it isn't an exact dupe, right? It looks expensive because they have combined two fabrics on one pillow. They don't just have linen. They don't just have faux leather. They don't just have suede. They don't just have cotton, right? They have two fabrics together. I believe it is a linen and a leather or faux leather. They've combined them in one pillow so that they have dimension. It's the same color, but they've made it really, really visually interesting with the two different textures from the two different fabrics. That is kind of what distinguishes something that is a little bit uh, more cheap looking from something that is more expensive, the level of detail. And you get so much detail with this pillow from Coterie Brooklyn that I think it is definitely worth the money. And I would definitely choose this one over the splurge, even though I have already splurged. <laughs> Now let's talk all about picture light. So if you don't know what a picture light is, it is a light that goes above a picture. 
don't you just love when those names are self-explanatory? I do. So there are lights that you put above um, family portraits or pieces of art or even mirrors. The mirrors I don't really get, but it's trendy, so people are doing it. But I love a picture light because it really draws attention to the artwork, right? Sometimes you're like, why is that picture up there on the wall? And then when the light is there, you're like, ah, that picture is supposed to be on the wall. Maybe you don't think about it that much, but I certainly do. These picture lights are also great for illuminating hallways where you might not have a ton of overhead light and it really draws attention to your styling, especially when you have really big walls and it's really easy for your decor and your art to get lost on those walls. So picture lights can get really pricey. I found this one from Amazon that is $29 and I love it. It is um, USB charged. It's not even battery operated, so you don't even have to pay for the batteries. And it's USB charged. You just plug it into the same charger as your phone um, the butt it comes with its own cord you charge it and it's actually magnetic so you put the stand up on the wall and you can take the picture light itself down rip it down charge it and put it back up you don't have to take the whole thing down and change out the batteries you don't have to hide a cord or anything like that so that is what gives it a sophisticated look already because I feel like a lot of the battery operated ones it has a really really thick base so you can just tell that there are some batteries in there so they don't look as robust and two, a lot of the ones when you have the cords exposed, it doesn't look as sophisticated. You normally have to take your cords and hide them in the wall and that can be really costly because you have to get an electrician or a handyman to come out and do that unless you're Bob the Builder, in which case are you for hire. If you don't have that available to you, it kind of just looks a bit messy, just as when any exposed cords look messy. So this picture light is fantastic. Now this picture light looks very, very good for $29 and a lot of picture lights I found $250, $350, $450 for only 12 inches of light that makes absolutely no sense to me and when you have a standard picture light you're really limited you kind of get the light that they give you and it tends to be really really yellow light that looks really fantastic with fine art you know olden art you know like the Mona Lisa she looks fantastic with yellow light but some paintings you want more cool light or more neutral light and you can actually change the light and time the light with these light fixtures so it's a great way again to highlight your artwork and illuminate your hallways really really affordably all right we're going to talk some more about textiles because pillows are just things that they get really pricey and I don't feel like they need to be let's talk about the velvet pillow cover so velvet pillow covers are popular in farmhouse design contemporary design bohemian design um literally all of the designs i can't even list all the designs of glam design especially in glam design velvet pillowcases are always and will always be in and i'll go online all the time and they're like 75 dollars for this velvet pillowcase and i'm like but velvet at the store is like three dollars a yard so how did we get to 75 dollars so let's compare this to a 50 dollars velvet pillow from pottery barn i get these ones on amazon they are nine dollars a pillowcase nine dollars a pillowcase do they have the most beautiful golden brass zipper in the world? But no, I didn't buy the pillow to look at the zipper. If I wanted to look at zippers, I'd buy a pack of zippers. But you get the exact same look. I literally cannot tell a difference for $9 as opposed to $50. I cannot understand. They're both 20 by 20. This even comes in a pack of two, right? You double the price there, but still two of them is less than the price of one from a Pottery Barn or literally any other store. It comes in black, white, yellow, orange like all the colors that you probably honestly shouldn't get the pillows in but it comes in every color of the rainbow it's like a box of lucky charms we love that for these pillows and they feel really nice and high end i think velvet in general is a high end looking fabric so it doesn't really matter if you buy the expensive velvet or the more affordable velvet and you know the zippers aren't like magnificent but i think that they close really easily i think the only difference is they're not like a really wide zipper with ornate detailing on it right which some people do look for in their pillows but for velvet i think the velvet steals the show anyway you don't really need a really nice zipper anyway so everyone loves mirrors and I know you're probably like oh Kiva you're gonna give me a dupe for your mirror I'm not I've disappointed you I'm not gonna do that because I don't think the dupes of that mirror are as good as the actual mirror or getting one of these mirrors from actual France right but we're gonna talk about the arch mirror because the arch mirror is super popular right now um, because you're getting a really nice curve shape and curve shape are trending and mirrors are really fantastic because they reflect light especially at the end of the day you don't have too much light and it helps make the space look brighter when it is otherwise dim so these arch mirrors are really pricey at your crate and barrel pottery barn all of your basic retail stores and i'm not even saying that these stores are luxury stores i'm just talking about the stores that you can go out to right i think that's something we need to touch on maybe that can be an entire youtube video let me know down below other places to shop because we only really think about the stores that we have at our local mall but there are stores to shop at besides crate and barrel and our house though i love them both a lot there are other stores to go to this mirror from west elm is 559 dollars whereas this mirror from amazon is three 
$350. So that is about a $200 price difference and that is a significant sum of money, especially when you think about taxes and shipping fees because with Amazon, if you have the Prime, you don't really get those delivery costs. Whereas when you're shopping at, again, one of those mainstream stores, you have a $200 delivery. And I hate when someone's like, oh, like the product is only $5. I'm like, oh my God, that's fantastic. And they're like, but the shipping is $999. And I'm like, how did we get to that sum of money? So I think when we're also comparing these prices, we have to think about the shipping costs because they don't show you that until you've put in all of your information, you went over and got your credit card and they're like, fooled ya, right? And maybe you've clicked pay now too soon and then you're crying and you don't know what to do, but you don't have that problem with Amazon. You have that problem less so at Target, Walmart, places where you can kind of go pick up in store and fit those things in your car. But an arch mirror is an arch mirror. So I think the things that are really basic, the basics that have just like a basic shape to them, um, um, get the more affordable option because they are the exact same. So I, the next product I want to talk to you about that is cheap but looks expensive is this box. You're like, what a niche thing to add into your video. That's correct. I like to show you the products that are trending, that are chic. So if you're not familiar with these boxes, these are bone inlaid boxes and they become really popular not only because they have this really interesting checker print on top, but they're really great for styling on consoles or on coffee tables because they are boxes, right? So. We can open it up, we can shove our remotes in there, we can shove our movie candy in there, whatever it is you like to keep near your coffee table, you can put it in this box and have decor that is practical. Now this box, I got a set of two from Home Goods for $60. One is big and one is small, and that's me combining the prices together. A set of two of these online right now, they are about $250, I think a little bit more than that. What? It's a box. There's nothing even in the box, you know? I mean, they're not even hiding anything in there for you as a surprise. It is a velvet lined box, right? There's nothing better than like a nice velvet lining and it's store stuff, right? So the decorative box is something that ends up being cheap but looks expensive because decorative boxes, they do get expensive but they hold so much utility. And this is the type of thing that you can get at a, a Home Goods, a Joanne, a Kirkland's, those more affordable stores that you can pick them up there. So brands like Jonathan Adler, Ralph Lauren, Tahari, they sell these decorative boxes online for a premium. But when you go to Home Goods and TJ Maxx, you can get these exact same prices at a wholesale cost. You're getting them at the same cost that like maybe your designer would get them, right? They're really, really affordable. So this is not one of those links where you can go click on it and pick it up. I'm sorry, you have to get in your car. I apologize, especially with the gas prices, but you're able to get something that looks really sophisticated and holds so much utility. So another trend right now um, that you may wanna buy into is the canopy bed. So we're gonna talk about this Brooks canopy bed. So this canopy bed in the king size is $2,500. And you're like, whoa, did you get the prices wrong? I did not, right? Because the canopy bed we're going to compare it to is, all right, pause, guess how much money you think this bed is. Choose the largest number you could think of for a bed. It is $10,000. So we're comparing $2,500 to $10,000. This bed is $2,500, which again, I know is a lot of money, but it's at a premium because it is a wooden bed. If you look at the details on this, one, it is a four poster canopy bed, right? So you have those beautiful wooden beams kind of going up towards your ceiling. It's really nice and low profile. So you kind of get that wabi-sabi flare without having to have a basic platform bed. Um, and it just looks so high end, so glamorous and so organic, right? Which really works for that modern traditional trend, which is obviously blending the organic with the modern, right? To get those outdoor elements in a very, very clean lined home. So I absolutely adore that about this bed. The level of detail in it warrants that like kind of stamp of approval that says this looks expensive, even though it is more affordable or cheap. Now, so when I I found this chandelier, I was blown away because I love the de level of detail on it. So this is a glass chandelier. It's $250 and it has 12 lights on it. And what makes it so high end looking is the level of detail on those light bulbs, right? It looks truly like a crystal knob, right? Like what you, you might have on a door handle or at the end of your curtains, right? So it looks super sophisticated, but the price difference. So the one on Amazon is $250, but the one from Restoration Hardware is $8,500 for this chandelier and the reason why you get the Lux look for less again is just the level of detail on those crystals but it is just the way the light will refract off of this plastic or glass is what's going to make it look really super sophisticated and it does come in both black and silver so depending upon what you fancy whatever your metallic is you can get that really sophisticated look I think that the standard Sputnik chandelier can get to be really mid-century looking and really glam looking I think it can look really out of place in a lot of contemporary homes even though it is the most recommended chandelier for the contemporary space. So I think this is the one way to 
take that glam chandelier and make it look a little bit more contemporary, right? A little bit more visually interesting so that we do want to put it in our space. Because I know we kind of sometimes worry when we're looking at these luxury dupes, when we're looking at these more affordable items, we're worried that our house is going to be a copy and paste of someone else. So I think this light is what sets you apart from getting that Sputnik that everyone has. Um, just a little bit more detail is really, really going to take you to the next level. And again, we're only spending $250 as opposed to the $8,500. And something I do want to call attention to, when you're looking at these luxury stores, they don't always include the price of the light bulbs. They may on this one, but sometimes you might have to buy a different light bulb if you want a different type of light to come off. If you want to extend it in terms of height, you have to buy additional rods. So you also need to factor that into the price when you're buying a light fixture. And I feel like people don't talk about that. Same thing on Amazon. You tend to actually have to buy the light bulbs, right? So you have to buy the chandelier and then the light bulbs that go in them as well. So when you're thinking about the price, you can't just think about the chandelier frame itself. Now, if you're into the modern organic, the Wabi Sabi, this one is for you. This one's for you. So when you're dealing with those design styles, it's very earthy, it's organic. We have those odes to the outdoors and there are tons of imperfections, right? And we want as much wood as possible. Um, like just call yourself Woody Woodpecker, right? We just love wood in these design styles. And the best way to introduce some wood in your kitchen besides, you know, like the layered cutting boards is via that bar stool. So these woven bar stools with leather or faux leather have become so popular, especially in these design styles because you get the leather, right? Um, a really nice texture. Plus it's not as hard on your tush because that can be horrible sitting on like an all wooden stool. I'd rather just stand and eat dinner than sit on the bar stool that's all wood. I literally cannot do it. So this bar stool is $195 and sure, that's more than no dollars, right? But let's compare it to a almost identical looking stool, which is $579 for a stool. Um, I think the only difference here really is the manufacturer, but you can get that same modern organic look. You just need to know what to look for. So look for those wooden stools, but also make sure they have some sort of upholstery, um, fabric upholstery or leather to, you know, give you a little bit of plushness and to also make it look again, less farmhouse because in the farmhouse design, you're not going to see the leather. You're not going to see the upholstery. Whereas in the modern organic, you're going to have a little bit of fabric to kind of add some contrast there. Okay, you guys, that's it for today's video. Those were a few affordable products that look expensive. Cheap doesn't have to have a negative connotation. There's nothing wrong with saving your money as long as you're saving your money on something that is also of good quality. But I never see you wrong here. So if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to subscribe, like this video, and check me out on Instagram. And if you want to see more luxury dupes, if you want some more affordable products in your life, be sure to follow me on Instagram because I, I share so many over there. I just can't get enough of it. Until next time, have a beautiful day.